Hello everyone! Welcome back to another episode of Subsistence. Um, today, I hope, is the day that we can get started making the last part of the ATV. I'm very, very excited about it. I cannot wait to get this started. We need two of you guys, three of you guys and two feathers we should have all of those we do um it's been a long time coming guys and i'm very very excited about it um hopefully we have everything i'm pretty sure we do we've got the battery we have the padded cloth we're we have the advanced mechanical parts i think we needed padded cloth didn't we For whatever reason, I feel like we needed four of these guys. I don't know what all we do need for sure. But I think we're going to have to try it out. Because I'm pretty sure we needed this, this, and this. Hopefully, anyway. And I think we need one more um, circuit board to get this going. I'm very hopeful that's all we need. Uh, we finished the last piece of padded cloth. Yes, we need one more circuit board. We have the battery. We have the padded cloth. We have the four advanced mechanical parts. So today is the day, guys. Very, very exciting about this. Um, I did place a couple more pieces up there. It is a bit off, guys. I really don't know what to do about it. There's not really anything I can do about it other than just live with it. Um, because over here, let me get out the bow. So over here we had to start with the quarter wall and over here we had to end with a half wall. So it is a bit off, but there's nothing really that I can do about that at all. Um, it just is what it is and we're going to have to deal with it. And I'm, I'm fairly certain that all of them will be off now. No, that one is. I'm fairly certain the rest of them will be off as well. So last circuit board. Very, very cool. We have everything turned off in the base, so we're just letting the base take care of itself at the moment, which is nice. I do also want to make myself a new pickaxe. I did break the one that we were using yesterday, um, so it's broken now completely. I did move the crate up here that had the stuff, the extra stuff in it from downstairs on the water level. I was going to say on the ground floor, but uh, on the water floor. It was just over in the corner by the refineries, just right there. But I did end up moving it up there instead of um, making a new one. Because resources are at a premium right now. We are very low on everything. I also watered and fertilized this yesterday, so it has been growing quite a bit, which is lovely. And I'm very excited to get some more crops going. We're going to need potatoes for fuel. We have a lot of things going on. I meant to turn on the power, however I did forget that, but we're going to go ahead and get this crafting and then we'll just run in there and turn on all of the generators and make sure that those are going as well. And then we're going to get out and do some looting while the base regenerates a bit of power because the base, whoa, I don't know what happened there, because the, the building will turn itself off um, when power reaches 500, so there's that. And I think this one's empty and we don't have any extra fuel. No, we're completely out of fuel. Okay, so we have two going. Not great. It is what it is. We don't have any extra fuel to put in there. So we're good. just going to have to deal with it. Let's do... Down to 21. And is that already turned off out there? Not yet. No, it's definitely going down very, very quickly. But it hasn't turned off just yet. We need to put the copper away. Because we don't need it on us right now. And we're going to get back out. We're going to do some looting today. We're going to get back home later this evening. And turn that on and let it craft a bit more. We do need fuel for that. I'm fairly certain of that as well. We're probably going to need a, the, uh, the battery uh, recharging thing. And come on. We know how to get through a door. So we're probably going to need that. We are going to have to finish up over there as well. 
before we can take this out before we can take the ATV out so we're gonna have to get some more planks crafted we're gonna have to get um, that lowered a bit at some point I do want to make that out of glass because I don't like the look of it just sticking out the side of the base like that so I really want to lower it down a bit and then make it out of glass so hopefully we can get that done at some point okay um first things first guys i guess the first piece of loot was a piece of plant fiber we need that for fuel bricks um not that big of a deal to you know grab those uh, they're pretty readily available but I, I really enjoy having plenty of those in the base i also ended up using about a hundred more pieces of the um medicinal plant medicinal herb whatever that's called to make sure that we had some biofuel going uh, we needed it desperately we don't have any of it going now um, we're actually pretty low on it again we don't have any really in the base so we're just making do with what we have really just out looking for loot looking for crates looking for anything that we can possibly use and hopefully in the next episode we're going to be turning the hunters back on letting them start to respawn see how well everything's going you know do all of that lovely stuff because i do miss the hunters honestly i really enjoy having them on the map it is very 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 different having them here versus not having them here i see a cougar to my right and i see a wolf straight in front of me and i desperately need his fat that and that and that so let's go ahead and see how much fat we got one whole piece wow that's a lot of fat um that probably won't even be yeah it'll be some biofuel but not enough to fill up anything or anything like that there's a locked crate here we don't have a lock pick so there's that I'm just out really looking for any type of loot. Anything that we can use. There's a bear down there and I don't want to have to deal with him. Or her. So we've had several new subscribers guys. And I just want to go over um, just a little quick rundown of the recording schedule. Or the publishing schedule I guess is the right words. I post subsistence Monday and Wednesday and I post the infected on Tuesdays and Thursdays and I do not record on the weekend or post anything Saturday and Sunday. Occasionally there will be a video out on Fridays if I've missed a video through the week or if I want to uh, kind of showcase a new game that I've been playing for a bit or something along those lines but normally it's four days a week. So, just for all the new subscribers, so you know when videos come out. You can always look for them Monday through Thursday and occasionally on Fridays. But very rarely ever on the weekend unless it's a pre-recorded episode of some type. Okay, so with that being said, I've not really seen any crates over here, guys. This is not good. This is not great at all. We really, really desperately need loot. Back away. Very slowly. Go this direction. Yeah, we'll just get up here and hang out in the snow line. Probably going to be another cougar up here. But if there is one, you know, we'll just have to deal with it if we have to, unless we can avoid it. And I'm very hopeful that we can do that. Um, stamina, very low. Why? Very hungry. We didn't have any lunch before leaving the base. Or breakfast, really. Let's eat that. Let's drink that. And other than being a little bit low on water still, we're doing pretty okay now. I love the way the sound, or the snow sounds in this game. It really sounds great under your feet. It sounds like real snow. You know, if you've been walking in any tightly packed snow or frozen over snow, you know, when it gets really, really cold a day or so after 
it snows it kind of freezes pretty hard um it's kind of what it sounds like i'm okay with that sounds really okay i do like the sounds in this game um i thought i saw a crate down here but i guess it was just a fern like normal trolled by a silly fern um multiple ferns actually uh, plant fiber we'll grab that i mean there's not really a lot out to grab so we're just going to grab whatever we do see lying around on the ground plant fiber and scrap and all of that we do need the scrap for um railings we need it for the i think we need it for the actual elevator shafts or tracks also uh something else we're going to have to work on after we get the atv up and going is the elevator track and we're going to need a couple of call buttons for the elevator itself so that we can you know recall it to whatever floor we're on in the event we fall or come in a different door than we go out of but currently there isn't any call buttons on the elevator with exceptions of being on the very very bottom floor come on Okay, so there's that. Um, another piece of fat. Not too horrible. Not great, but not horrible. The water's just down here. Let's get down here and wash our hands. We did use a lot of resources as well. We really should look for more pearls, but I think I'll do that off camera because diving for pearls is not really uh, an interesting thing to do. So we'll just do that. Ooh, didn't need that out. I do want the bow. Okay, there it is. I like the bow because the arrows are pretty easy to make and you don't need gunpowder or casings for those. So we always tend to have ammo on us. Um, luckily for us, someone did mention that we were running pretty low on arrows in, the, in an episode last week, I think, because I ended up crafting some arrows, but I've used most of them again we're down to 25 and i had 50 ish arrows or so i'm not really seeing any loot out today guys there's no crates around nothing really i did just log into the game so there's probably a good explanation for that there's another locked crate um don't have a lock pick nothing really that i can do about that Some copper is nice. I really enjoy getting copper. Some iron here as well. And there's a crate over here. Two crates, in fact. Very, very cool. I don't mind that at all. I definitely don't mind the ammo whatsoever. There's a bear back there. It's a level one black bear. So there's that and yeah there's a piece of scrap over here plant fiber as well so if you can't tell um by my voice i am doing a lot better i've tested negative for covid on last thursday so definitely feeling a lot better i um, still have the pesky cough that goes with it but that's okay i've had that since thanksgiving really um, never really got over it from the flu but uh, my husband and myself have tested negative my mom is also negative now my dad however is not at the moment negative but we're hopeful for that negative test in the next day or two and my brother did not catch it yet and i don't understand that he's been with me and my husband and my mom and all of us you know for the past week and he still didn't catch it but i guess not everyone does okay so we have some iron here and a couple of things here in this little huddle we have plant fiber we have some scrap metal let's just kill the wolf because there's a blueberry i think i thought i saw a blueberry 
But I do see a crate over there as well. Let's grab the axe. Harvest the wolf. Two pieces of fat that time, guys. That's pretty cool. A blueberry. Crate. Casings and gunpowder. Not horrible. That and more plant fiber just up here. I will take whatever the game wants to give us. I don't care if all we come home with is 50 or 60 plant fiber. I'm okay with that. Don't get me wrong. Ammo is nice. Loot is nice. But I will still be okay if we come home with a pocket full of plant fiber. Blueberries are nice also. And cordage is good. The potato, the apple is nice. We could craft a piece of biofuel here. Four medicinal plant will give you one biofuel. I mean, it isn't great, but it isn't horrible. It is still biofuel. And when you're desperate for it, every piece counts, right? Okay. Um, if I was a lock, not a locked crate, sorry. If I was a loot crate, where would I be? Would I be right there? Or would you be a fern? I hope that is a crate. Okay. Ah, silly, silly fern. Darn it. Really need some weed spray in this game to kill all of these ferns. Uh, there appears to be a crate. Hopefully that's not another fern. In front of us, a building crate. So that's nice, you know, getting some loot. Okay, uh, we have one liver and two steaks. More plant fiber here. Carrot maybe over here. Some scrap here. Um, the pond, I think, is over in that area. I think. Or maybe over there? Nope. That would not be right at all. I'm a bit lost. I know how to get home. But I am confused on where exactly I am. I know I'm in the valley-ish. I know I'm not directly in the valley, but I'm sort of there. And I know there's a pond down here somewhere. Ooh, building crate. I was going to use the water there to wash my hands, but it was not exactly where I thought it was. Okay, let's do that. We're headed back toward the base now. We have water here. Let's just go ahead and do that. Wash our hands. So we don't get an infection. I mean, we do have some antibiotics or whatever that's called back at the base. So we really would be okay if we did get infected. But I just don't really like using those. I don't like the infection. It drains your... I really want that blueberry. It drains your stamina and your health and all of that lovely stuff. And, you know, I just really don't, don't want to have to deal with that. Run, rabbit, run. There's a bear on the loose. We annoyed him by stealing his blueberry. But anyway, uh, two plant fiber here. That's pretty cool. Excited about that. Then we're going to get back and turn on the... There's a bear right there. Can we grab this piece of plant fiber? Yes. Ooh, another piece here. No swipey swipey. Okay. I think he has stopped chasing us for a moment or two. There might be a crate down here or a couple of crates. That's pretty good. Hopefully the bear doesn't sneak up on us. Let's grab all of that. Very lovely stuff. 
another crate over here that's also pretty cool I do not mind getting loot crates it seems like they're starting to spawn in now that had a bandage in it which is nice we haven't gotten one of those in a while or so it seems anyway so there's uh, there's that you know and, and it's pretty cool to get those I don't mind more medicinal plant hopefully we can find three more and we can turn that into biofuel because we're going to need it um, getting that ATV up and going is the only part of it now we have to worry about being able to recharge it and all of that lovely stuff and the first thing we are doing is going exploring in the new area when we actually are able to We've only been over there maybe once or twice and not really exploring, but, but um, you know, just checking it out for a bit when it was first released. Okay. Ooh, another crate just over there behind me. Had to stop and get that medicinal plant. Wanted to make sure if we could find enough, we would have enough to make at least one more biofuel. I think there was a piece to my left. I'm definitely going to check that out. Ooh, we do actually have enough. Let's go ahead and craft that. Okay. Uh, another wolf just here. Okay, Snoopy McGee. Come on over. Well, you can do this. Okay. Two pieces of fat, two pieces of meat. Not horrible. Okay. We're headed back into the base now to make sure that we have you know some power going and you know we can restart the ATV we're just picking up all the loot on the way back in we don't want to leave anything behind so we are just grabbing everything that we can see out here I'm gonna stop and refill the water canteen also because again I don't want to leave anything you know out here just hanging out and I want to make sure that we are able to at least get some more of the ATV going but I think this is the last piece and I'm very excited about it. Okay, so let's just get in here and see what we got going on. 11%, that was not great. We have nearly 3,000 power though, so that's pretty good. Come on. Okay. okay, so let's get back in the base and put everything away in the proper location and then we are going to Harvest these tomatoes. Very, very cool. But hopefully we can get everything turned back on in the next episode. I really, really want to get those hunters and things turned back on. You and you go in here. We have a couple of things that go in here. Carrot seeds go over in the crate by the door. Um, the jar goes over here. Plant fiber is nice. This two biofuel is very nice. Okay, let's just put the seeds and things away over here. And water is okay for now. But I do want to trade that out. I don't know where all of our canteens have gotten off to. We're missing about three of those. I'm sure they're probably in one of the stoves. So there's that. Um, but you and 55 nails that's pretty good we have an excess in nails again we have over a full stack which is lovely you go in here you go in here we have some ammo here I'm just going to drop off some of the 9mm as well you you and you go in here we have two biofuel it's not much but it is something a couple of ores that we can drop off over here. I'm going to shut this door also. And then 
we are going to call it a day you guys um i'm gonna just let the atv you know run a bit more try to get it completed see what else we need to get done i will probably work on that little path over there and harvest these tomatoes right here and anyway guys i'm gonna go ahead and end this episode here i want to thank you so much for hanging out with me today i really do appreciate all of your support on this channel and on this series as well I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you're looking forward to future episodes. And I can't wait to catch you guys in the next one. Until then, have yourselves a wonderful, wonderful day.